Today on the farm, we're gonna start sucking corn out of the grain bins. We've caught all the deer hunters we know that we sell corn to, told them to get the trailers down here, get ready to get their corn because those 18 wheelers pull up under here, they're gonna haul it out to us empty. So all the deer hunters gotta get it out today or you're not gonna get it. the floor in the grain bin what's well, pushed out of the bin is powered by electricity we got a fuse a big big breaker box over here big fuse box breaker box over here we flip a switch in it that sucks the corn out of the bin but then the auger from the bin to the trailer is powered by the pto shaft on the 4755 this is one of my neighbors he's one of the best wildlife photographers where he is the best wildlife photographer i know he takes phenomenal phenomenal wildlife pictures of ducks turkeys deer all kinds of stuff he uh he is taking some unbelievable pictures and he buys a truckload of corn from us every year so we're loading out of the bin into the grain cart and out of the grain cart into the hunter's trailers <laughs> that'll feed a lot of deer right there now <laughs> rain coming the wind has picked up there's lightning and thunder rain's coming across the field so we had to take the augers down get them tied up get them secure so the wind don't blow them over this short auger we just tie it to the loader the loader ain't gonna blow over we take the big auger down got it down low in between the bins got a pit covered up because as you know that corn gets on the ground it rains this pit coming out of the bin fills up with water and it smells good when we come back in here and start back unloading. So you gotta do everything you can do to keep the water from getting in the pit. Cause you don't want that rotten corn out here where you're working at. It is bad news, bad news. We have more white-tailed deer in this part of the country than I would say anywhere else in the whole country per square mile. It's not uncommon with thermal imaging to ride past one of our fields, basically any of them at night and see 75, 80 deer every night. That's very common. You can see more than that in some fields. You can see upwards of 100 in some fields. Depends on how big the field is and where it's located. But you can see with, with thermal at night, you can see 60, 75 deer pretty much in any of our fields any night of the week. We have a lot of deer here. They do a lot of crop damage, a lot of crop damage. But one, one of our guys, I don't think he was on film today, but he uh, lives right down the road here. One of the best managers of deer property I know. He's very good at uh, critiquing his herd and his he, he has some tremendous trophy deer every year he uh, keeps his corn in a side dump trailer and he puts it in his feeders via buckets but as it runs out of his side dump into his buckets he holds his arms down there and lets it run over his arms and he if he collects his corn in these buckets and he'll get his arms all down there in it and get the corn all over him so the corn smells like him and so when he goes hunting the deer say hey i recognize that smell that smell smells like corn in that tree over there so instead of trying to uh disguise his scent instead of trying to hide his scent he makes the food he makes the corn smell like him so when the deer are eating the corn they smell that smell and then later on when he's hunting they smell it and say hey he smells like some corn over here and he is I, you can say what you want to about the about that uh that way of doing things you know it is it is different but he has tremendous success with it he has done great doing that i thought it was a neat trick another one of our guys that comes he uh feeds his deer 
instead of putting out a, a feeder a large feeder that just automatic feeds or timer feeds or something like that he goes and feeds his deer just what they can eat each day he carries a couple of buckets out there he drives his truck to his property pulling his, his side by side behind him on a trailer he parts at the gate backs the side by side off the trailer at the same time parked in the same place every day and he drives through the property on the same path with his buckets of corn in the back and he goes to the same little trough in the woods and pours the corn out at the same time everything the same way every day and the deer got to realizing that hey at this time he's coming and so when he would get down there to his food plot he'd see them kind of in the edge of the woods and while he's pouring the corn out they might step into the edge of the food plot and stand around and look at him and he just minds his own business pours his corn in his trough pulls out leaves and he kept doing it every day he's done it for years and now when he goes down there these are wild deer unfenced area he can get within 10 6 or 8 10 feet of wild deer he goes out in the middle of the day no camo pours his corn out and the deer walk up maybe twice arm reach from him they're a little spooky a little skittish but these are wild deer and he'll stand right beside them i love hearing everybody's stories of what they do to manage their deer or, or hunt their deer um my opinion all y'all need to shoot about 20 more deer than you've been shooting you ain't shooting enough uh it wouldn't hurt this area if every hunter shot 75 it wouldn't hurt a doggone thing we got way too many deer but thank all y'all for watching get out there and shoot some deer and we'll see y'all next time